Now at 5.30, a show of support for a Miami-Dade High School senior who is fighting to get her dramatically improved SAT score validated. The NAACP, two school board members, and a congresswoman are all backing 18-year-old Camila Campbell. CBS 4's Joe Murray has been covering the story. She's live at Michael Crop Senior High, where Campbell is a senior and where she took the test. Joan? Yeah, she took that test, Elliot, last October, and she said the score she earned, a 1230, was earned fair and square. And now the NAACP is joining her fight, saying they believe her and that these scores should be validated so she can get into her school of choice, Florida State. Camila Campbell wiped away tears before heading to the front of the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, where alongside her attorney and a crowd of backers, she pleaded to have her latest SAT scores released. I studied and I dedicated and I sacrificed so many hours of my time to study for this test so I can get my goal and they're not going to take that away from me. Campbell's scores were flagged after she boosted her original score by over 300 points. She says she was told they suspected she cheated. The accusations is outrageous and it's unfounded. Her lawyer, civil rights attorney Ben Crump, said he has gotten at least a dozen calls from parents around the country with similar stories and hinted a class action lawsuit could be brewing. The NAACP said it is launching its own investigation into whose SAT scores are flagged and why. If there were no flags raised during her testing or any concerns at that time and she, the tests went through and, and the scores were, were in, we, we, we demand that those scores be uh, acknowledged. The college board which administers the SATs told us student scores are never held or canceled simply because of score gains. Race, ethnicity, and other personal attributes have no role in the process. The types of evidence that can prompt score review include a student's answer sheet resembles not only another student's, but a group of students who have very similar answers, including the same wrong answers. Now, this review could take several weeks, and Campbell is afraid that during this delay that it, uh, her time will be used up and will, she will not be able to get into Florida State. I contacted Florida State today. They said they could not discuss her case personally, but said the deadline is February 7th. Also, Campbell has set up a GoFundMe page. You can get more on that on our webpage, uh, cbsmiami.com. In Northeast Miami-Dade, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.